Hi everyone, just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about how to solve systems of equations, linear equations by um, using substitution. Um, so I'll go through a couple different examples here of the various levels, so to speak, in terms of um, substitution. Uh, so the first one that we're dealing with here, this is where they're both in the, the, the slope intercept form. So we both have, uh, have both equations in the form y equals um, x plus something. Right, so that means right off the bat, I don't have to do any work before substituting. I just know that because this is what y is equal to, and this is also what y is equal to, I can just set them equal to each other and be done. So I don't have to do any sort of rewriting when I'm in this form. Um, and this is really helpful if you don't necessarily have anything to just graph on quickly. If you have something to graph on quickly, I might have just graphed this. It doesn't necessarily matter which form you choose. Um, but in this case, it's pretty straightforward um, in any sort of capacity. So I'm going to add these, and I will get x equals 5. All right, now what do I need to do? I need to plug it back in. It doesn't matter which one I plug back into. I just have to plug it back into one of them. So I will do y equals negative 4 times 5. And I'm picking this one because you know what? It's slightly easier to plug back into. So y equals negative 20. So therefore, I've ended up with my coordinate, which will be 5, and then negative 20. Again, you could have used uh, graphing if you so desired, but in this case, we are specifically looking for substitution. Um, so we will continue on with that. Now, in terms of uh, this kind of next level, we have one equation, this bottom one, which is in the form. Uh, either y or x is equal to something else, uh, and then we have up here in, in kind of a standard form, All right? So I know that x is equal to this, so up here I can just replace my x with negative 3y, right? It goes right in there. I am replacing it. I cannot lose the 7. Negative 3y minus 2y equals negative 38. Now, we do need to be careful. Uh, number one, it's very common for people to lose the coefficient. It's also very common for people to accidentally substitute into the wrong thing and write the wrong letter, right? A lot of times people will put it here where because y, y, but you are saying x is equal to this, so I am replacing the x. So that would be 21y minus 2y equals negative 38. So that would be uh, 19y equals negative 38, and so y is equal to negative 2. All right, now again, I just need to plug in, and usually I'm going to pick this one to plug into. It just makes it easier. So I would say x is equal to negative 3 times negative 2, so is equal to 6. All right, so if we were to plug that in, we would say 6, negative 2. We should be good to go. Now, last one, um, we'll do a slightly harder one, and this is one slightly harder than that. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this one is this is kind of your slightly harder situation where um, you have something either like this, where x is equal to something, uh, but it, it's equal to something that you would essentially then have to distribute on, where you have a you know, 10y minus 4. Um, or you could have something like this, right? If, if I had started out with this, and just pretend that that wasn't there, you know, you would have to rearrange it, all right? So this is kind of our last level of difficulty. Um, you might have to rewrite some of them if needed. Um, usually, if I have to rewrite, I don't bother using substitution. I would use a, the next method that we're going to talk about, elimination. Um, but that's kind of your own personal call. All right, so let's plug this in. I know x is equal to this, so I can replace this x with 10y minus 4. So I have 2 times 10y minus 4. And it's very common to forget the minus 4. Um, a lot of people sometimes try to move things around and then completely forget about it, um, but you don't have to move anything around at all in this problem. All right, so this would be 20y minus 8, 8 plus 3y equals 0. 
equals negative 31. Okay, so that would be that 23y equals, when I add the 8 to that side, would be negative 23. So y is going to be equal to negative 1. All right, now I'm going to plug it back in. It doesn't matter which one I plug it into. I'm going to plug it into this one so I don't have to necessarily move anything around. I get x is equal to 10 times negative 1 minus 4 is negative 10 minus 4, which is negative 14. So then I should have the point negative 14, negative 1. We're good. So please, please, please let me know if you have any questions, and if not, have a great day.